Williams Sound, helping people here since 1976. In this video, I will step you through programming the DLT 300 in the two-way mode. Power the unit on by pressing and holding the power menu button in the lower left corner for about 3 seconds. Enter the programming mode by pressing and holding the arrow up and arrow down buttons together for about 3 seconds. Once you are in the programming mode, you will see icons flashing located at the top, middle section of the display. Please note, these icons I have on my screen now may be different from yours. For this video, we are programming the system for the two-way mode. So the icons we need are speaker on the left and microphone on the right. Use the volume plus or minus button located on the bottom row to scroll through the selections. Once you have these icons, you are done with this step of programming. Press, do not hold, the power menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. In this step, one unit must be assigned as Master 1. Master 2 is optional. All other units in the group must be assigned as Guest. Use the Volume Plus or Minus button located on the bottom row to scroll through the selections. Press Do Not Hold the Power Menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. In this step, we assign an address number. Each DLT 300 in a group must be assigned a different address number. There are 1,024 addresses, 0 through 1,023, to choose from. William Sound programs the Master 1 unit with address 0. Master 2, if used, is assigned with address 1. And all other DLT 300s are assigned with addresses 2 through 1,023. Use the Volume Plus or Minus button located on the bottom row to scroll through the selections. Press Do Not Hold the Power Menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. In this step, we assign a group number. Each DLT 300 that will be working together must have the same group number. There are 1,024 group numbers to choose from, but group number 12 is the default group number. Use the volume plus or minus button located on the bottom row to scroll through the selections. You can use any group number 0 through 1,023 but if you're using DLR360s in your system, select the group number between 0 and 99. If you select the group number 100 or higher, DLR360s will not work. Press Do Not Hold the Power Menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. In this step of programming, you choose how many microphones you wish to have in your system. This is done on the Master 1 unit only. Use the Volume Plus or Minus button located on the bottom row to select 4, 3, or 2 microphones. Press Do Not Hold the Power Menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. In this step of programming, we are setting the side tone level, which is the audio level you hear yourself while the talk button is active. Use the volume plus or minus button located on the bottom row to scroll through the selections. ST0 equals side tone is off. ST1 equals side tone level is 6 decibels below audio level. ST2 equals side tone level is 12 decibels below audio level. 
press. Do not hold the power menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. The next step of programming is setting the hour and AM or PM on the Master 1 unit only. Use the volume plus or minus button located on the bottom row to scroll through the selections. Press. Do not hold the power menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. The next step of programming is setting the minutes on the Master 1 unit only. Use the volume plus or minus button located on the bottom row to scroll through the selections. Press. Do not hold the power menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. All DLT 300s assigned as guest have the option of selecting PNL or push to latch, which means you do not have to hold the talk button while speaking. Press and release the talk button to activate the microphone. Press and release the talk button to deactivate the microphone. The other option is PTT or push to talk. This means you will press and hold the talk button while speaking and release when you are finished talking. This feature is available on guest units only. Use the volume plus or minus button located on the bottom row to scroll through the selections. Press. Do not hold the power menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. The next step of programming is setting the four digit security code if you wish to add this to your system. The four digit code can be used to add extra security along with the 87 bit encryption that DigiWave offers. If a four digit code is entered, it must be entered in each DLT 300 in the group. Also, if a four digit code is used, DLR 360s will not work. If a four digit code is not desired, or if you wish to erase the previous code, press do not hold the power menu button four times or one time for each bar. Press. Do not hold the power menu button to proceed to the next step of programming. You are now at the beginning of programming mode. To save and exit programming mode, press and hold the arrow up and arrow down buttons together for about three seconds. You are now ready to use the DigiWave 300 series in the two-way mode.